Lone Pine is a small community of less than 2,000 people. Located in southeastern California, the town covers only about 19 square miles. It is nestled within a dry, desert-like place called the Owens Valley. Seen from space, Lone Pine's geography gives it a strong resemblance to what some believe is its most famous resident, a creature thought to be extinct for 120 million years. Internet legend has it that the outskirts of this small town are stalked by a strange predator. Some call the dinosaur, others a hoax. Most refer to it as the Lone Pine Mountain Devil. Online resources indicate that the first recorded incident involving such a creature in Lone Pine comes from the journal of Father Justice Martinez. Father Martinez, while traveling with a group of 37 Spanish settlers, allegedly recounted an encounter with the Mountain Devils and how his group was decimated by them. My God. My God. They're all gone. The winged demons have risen. What sin have they committed against each other and thy sacred earth? May the forgiven Lord not abandon their souls, which were taken from them into the depths of hell. And through the earthly fires of men, a soul tree remained on the mountain's peak. And the devils that spared me returned to the refuge of the lone pine on the mountain. Father Martinez's journal entry, as well as other online sources, indicates that the mountain devils are said to have four wings, sharp claws and teeth, and a carnivorous disposition. The closest modern animal to the description of the Lone Pine mountain devils is the bat, a small, winged mammal with a lust for the flesh of insects, and not people. What was it that Martinez described? Many have suggested that, while no contemporary animal fits Martinez's description, there is an extinct animal that matches. Originally discovered in China, the first Microraptor specimen was not a complete fossil. In fact, much controversy surrounded the finding. Several other nearby fossils had been mixed in with it, making an accurate reconstruction difficult. However, further inquiry by Chinese and American paleontologists revealed more complete Microraptor specimens, confirming one of the strangest descriptions ever put to a dinosaur at that time. Microraptor was a small theropod, growing only to about 35 centimeters in height. This small hunter was adorned with a special feature, feathers, covering its arms and legs. While the Microraptor had these feathers, it is believed it could not fly, but rather glided in the air when it needed to. The four feathered limbs of the Microraptor bear a strong resemblance to the often multi-winged Lone Pine Mountain Devil. Could it be that the demons described by Father Martinez were Microraptors, or a similar reptilian species. Could a dinosaur survive in the Owens Valley region? It is known that much of California was underwater during the many ages of the dinosaurs. However, it is also known that many theropods were adapted to desert-like conditions. Theropods were the only carnivorous dinosaurs, their evolutionary origins lay in the late Triassic period, about 200 million years ago. During this period of time, small dinosaurs known as prototheropods existed alongside other late Triassic dinosaurs and reptiles. These prototheropods greatly resembled raptors more than any of their theropod descendants. 
The first dinosaur family considered to be composed of true theropods was Colophysoidea. Colophysoidea consisted of many theropod types, the most famous of which being Dilophosaurus. This family of saurians survived until the early Jurassic period. However, by this time, true theropods had already taken over the scene. Dinosaurs like Megalosaurus, one of the largest of the Jurassic period theropods, were the most vicious land animals that had ever lived. Eventually, as the Jurassic period transitioned into the Cretaceous period around 145 million years ago, theropods diverged further and gave rise to the most famous theropods we know today. These well-known specimens include the Gallimimus, the Nanocosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Velociraptor, and even the Microraptor. Nearing the end of the Cretaceous, as the mass extinction of the dinosaurs approached, is when the fossil record begins to show the first avians on the planet, the first birds. These birds developed from small theropods. The first of them is thought to be Archaeopteryx. Theropods, though, were not the only dinosaurs to display avian traits. Ornithopods, such as Parasaurolophus, had bird-like hip joints and duck-like bills. Ceratopsians, like the Triceratops, even had parrot-like beaks at the front of their faces. The climates that these pre-bird theropods lived in, particularly in North America, is not unlike the climate of modern-day Southern California. The average temperatures of Southern California range from 20 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius. In the same geographical area, during the late Cretaceous period, the average temperature was usually between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius, with the high mountains getting colder than the flat forests and deserts. There is no question that a small theropod could, indeed, survive Lone Pine's climate. The question is, does it? While Microraptor itself was a native of the Far East, dinosaurs like it would have had an easy time surviving in the conditions of modern-day California. In fact, regions surrounding California, such as the San Juan Basin, are famous for their theropod and ornithopod fossils, both being types of dinosaurs which led to the birds we have today. One revealing example is a trackway of fossilized ornithopod footprints, which show how the animals moved along the then coastline, starting in New Mexico and moving northward. These dinosaurs made their journey during the late Cretaceous period, the last and most recent era of the dinosaurs. Could it be that some earlier dinosaurs, such as the early Cretaceous Utah raptor, have survived to the present day? Eli Watson, of the Cryptid Campfire podcast, embarks on a mission to determine if this is true. Hello, I'm Eli Watson, currently in Lone Pine, California, obtaining shots from my good friend, Carrick Sandorant of Crash Course Cryptozoology. I'm also looking for the Lone Pine Mountain Devil myself. So far, no sign. He will travel into the edges of Lone Pine's surrounding wilderness, to find any potential evidence of the Mountain Devil legend. The story of the Lone Pine Mountain Devil is colorful, but no story is without its holes. For all of the lore surrounding historical accounts of the Mountain Devils, modern eyewitnesses are impossible to find. Not one person has come forward to personally claim a Mountain Devil sighting. Although some online sources claim recent sightings have occurred between 2003 and 2010, none of these sightings can be traced. There still exists as well the problem of the fossil record. While Utah Raptor looks very much like the alleged mountain devils, it could not fly or glide as the mountain devils are said to. More Microraptor sized American species, like Anomopus, were certainly adaptive to climate, having been discovered in Utah, 
Arizona, and Massachusetts. However, no fossils of Anamopus or similar dinosaurs have been found beyond the Jurassic period, meaning they may have gone extinct before they had the chance to evolve into modern birds or mountain devils. Even the journal of Father Martinez seems to be impossible to track down. For that matter, no record of a church official named Justice Martinez exists. Could it be that all the legend is, is just that, a legend, an urban myth made to make the internet a little more interesting? I just got done getting some ambient noise for the video. But here, take a look at this. I believe that is the Lone Pine Mountain. I think it's that one. I'm at these super sick rocks. I'm about to take the drone up. Look at that, dude. If the legend is false, where did it come from? In 2010, a short film was uploaded to YouTube under the title Mountain Devil Prank Fails Horribly. So we're gonna take him out to the middle of fucking nowhere and we're gonna scare the shit out of him. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Hey, what's up, dude? The film, shot in a found footage style made popular by the Blair Witch Project, revolves around the misadventure of a group of friends as they use the myth of the mountain devils to scare each other. This. Let me check out what? this monster. Come on! Let's go, Matt! Ah! <laughs> you got it, you got it. Chad, is this scary or what? Chad? Only for the real mountain devils to make an appearance. Did you? On, oh, not funny, you don't look good. Oh, I'm on. hungry, I'm Just tired. Ah! Oh shit! The film, directed by Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette, is of course fictional. It uses CGI to depict the mountain devils as multi winged, bat like horrors which pluck men from the ground to feast upon their flesh. The creatures, of course, bear a strong resemblance to what urban legend says the real mountain devils look like. The most shocking fact? No information on the Lone Pine Mountain Devils can be found that predates the film. This highly suggests that this film, rather than being based on the legend, actually created it. Matt Bettinelli Pin, who went on to help direct popular movies such as VHS and Scream, revealed his side of the story and the truth to Crash Crush Cryptozoology in an online interview. They had not based their mountain devils off of any existing legends, and in truth, it appears the mountain devil story did indeed originate with this film. All of the mounting evidence for this is capped by the fact that the special effect artist who designed the mountain devils is named Justin Martinez. The mountain devils are based on a creation in a short film from 2010 and the legend perpetuated by online sources and perhaps even one of the cast members. Proving without a doubt, the Mountain Devil story is nothing more 
than an urban legend created from a single source. Eli Watson's investigation has concluded, finding no definitive signs of a dinosaur or other mystery creature in the Owens Valley. And I don't think anyone's ever heard of it.